there. What's good? At White Pepper on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, White Pepper underscore channel on the gram. Our hashtag of the day. Okay, you technically, umbrella hashtag is Y in the morning, but today is a special day because we are starting your weekend on a weekday. Ah, oh, imagine. Imagine like Y254. Hashtag is Social Friday. Minato Val or at Color Me Val Val and Apenaka Kalas. I really like colors, guys, and I really, really like music, so I have a very deep appreciation for one Mr. Good Vibes. His name is Rajiz, the DJ, and he knows what he's doing. Okay, and we appreciate yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Jimmy Ute, <laughs> Mahali, somewhere, but we shall get back to him shortly. In fact, this topic is all about Rajiz the DJ. Did you know? All you have to do is just interact with us, Pale, with our social handles. I can repeat them for you if you want. The question is, ask him a question. That is what we want, basically. At White 5 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, White 5 underscore channel on the gram. Masai Katie Esai, Adna to pick your game. Yeah, so itakuwa na mimi na guest kwanza tiketeke beard gang gang I love na by the way mbona Rajiz ali shave si tuko no, no shave november ama ni nini ebu ngoja kwanza hi hi how are you fine thanks how you doing i'm good kuna hairstyle ya pesa rasta waribu sasa tuko kuna tundevu hey you you're yeah, the embodiment of no shave november mm mm na haringi <laughs> by the way na tukunywa bila maringo mm please introduce yourself to the people Hi people, my name is Obai <laughs> Patrick, also mm -hmm. known as Mama Akoth. Mm -hmm. I'm a Baba Akoth on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Yes. So many questions. So, so many questions. Let's start with the fact that we are in a generation where we are comfortable in drag. Like, umeva dera rasta na ukafunga nisha kichwa na unatupatia content. That's not scary for you at all? Toxic masculinity and everything? No, if you're comfortable with what you're doing, then there's... I don't think there's a problem with it. Dude, you're funny. Thank God you don't have a problem with it because you're funny. You're thank a funny you, thank guy. you very See, Rai Singh Seme is funny. He's <laughs> funny! And don't have the TikTok. I want to have to talk to you. What inspires Mama Koth or Baba Koth? Or even you, because I see you as yourself sometimes on TikTok. Yes. Um, what inspires Mama Koth is basically how I was brought up. Mm -hmm. I was brought up by very strong women. My mom, my, my two paternal and maternal grand mothers mm -hmm. they're very strong women mm -hmm. and they're very vocal basically i always tell people my mama akot is my paternal grandma that's wow. how she is uh -huh. an outspoken woman uh -huh. and a strong woman who held the family together has that affected you just this is out of curiosity it has nothing to do with anything TikTok or content creation okay. but has it affected how you deal with females around you not really not yeah. really because uh these are this is just a character behind the camera mm -hmm. after that there is patrick mm -hmm. himself mm -hmm. so when you see me doing my tiktok in the car or, or somewhere else without a data without that hair flip mm -hmm. uh, then, <laughs> then mm. that's uh, that is totally a different person from uh mama Koth as a character Na kuna time uta confuse moja? No. Ujipate, ujafunga, but unongea kama makoth? No, not really. Okay, the most recent video that I have seen of mama makoth ni anongele. Kwanza napigiwa simu na shule. First thing, amechoma shule. Eh. How is it, is it easy rather, okay, it doesn't look easy, so let me rephrase. How do you know what kind of social event to pick on in society. Like, kituka kutuma shulesi ni kitu nafanyika say. Like, vitu tuz na politics, I, I'm also assuming there's going to be a lot of satire on that, especially the year we're coming into. Yeah. But how do you know when it's okay? Like, apa usiguze, apa ni okay? Like, how do you disarm? Uh, basically, social um, life and what is going on in society is what, is where I draw my content from. Because uh, these are things that we interact with daily, it's all over the place. So I just find a comic way of putting it mm -hmm. out there. And for me being um, male and doing a, a character, a female character, basically depicts the comic in it. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, it's never, it's, it's not hard because it's, it's something I'm used to doing. Mm. And it's, I am alone with the camera, so I'm very comfortable at the same time. Uh, so, I don't know if you post what I'm saying. I don't know if you post what I'm saying. I am not in control of how you 
how someone decodes. Let's just fist bump on that story <laughs> and then continue. Yes, I'm not in control of how people decode, but for me, basically when I'm doing it, it's just for fun. Mm -hmm. Yes. Have you had negative feedback on social media is not easy, you know, yeah. and, and sometimes when you do something that you love, yeah. you forget that, uh, by the way, you want to consume and they also have their own ideas and opinions and mm -hmm. all these things. But here you're just trying to do what you love to do. So what happens when Moto two wanna come across when they have things to say that are not so nice? Yeah, um, that is, if you are an artist and a content creator for that matter, you should be prepared for everything. Mm -hmm. Because then, at times negative comments outweigh even the positive comments. Really? Yes, but what do you pick from it? Give me a for example. I want real life events. Mm, for example, when you post a video maybe on a certain Okay, let me give a character of now me playing Mamakoth. Mm. People basically have not conceptualized that the fact that men can play a female character and it's just for the screen. Mm. Basically, that's something that we are trying to adopt as a country, as a Kenyan society, and Africa as generally. Mm -hmm. That is something that has not been there, but slowly we are accepting and picking it up. So before, before people accepted it, there were negative comments, how, mm. why would you wear a wig, why would you wear a dera, what, you know, but at the end of the day, it's all about me. Mm -hmm. It's all about me, do I know myself? Mm. Yes. So what he's very diplomatically trying to tell us is, some hard questions were asked that were also very unnecessary. Like the yes, very they're unnecessary. very unnecessary, because <laughs> I do not know, I do not owe anyone an, an explanation of the content I create. I'm really glad you said that because we see people like, there's a story that was trending, very close but very far, it's a very bad feeling. Jinake uh, Kumbuki, but he's a football player, na ametembea tembea a little bit, he's Kenyan, and there was a whole scandal when his, his mom I think was not well, and for a, a while she had a bit of a short, long illness. And there's a time the public came and demanded and asked, you, you're making this amount of money. What are you doing to do? And he kept quiet for a while, but eventually he just, okay, nani, nimekuwa nikilipa, is it a lot of money, it's expensive. Mm. But I, I honestly did not understand why he had to tell us. It's not my business. Yeah. I don't even know how much tax he pays. No. Uh, what, do you feel like sometimes people just want things from you? And, where ukwapu? Yeah, but people want, uh, but the control is yours. You can only give as much as you want to give. Because if you do not, if if you let people push you around on what they what they want to see, what they want to hear, and what they want you to give, then you are in, you let them control what you are. Mm -hmm. For me, it's what can I give up to what level, up to what extent can I give? How does it affect me? How does it affect my family? Because mm -hmm. I would not want to drag the whole. Mm -hmm. It's me on social media. Why would I drag everyone else on social media? Mm -hmm. So if it's me, let me deal with the people asking the question, let 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 me not drag everybody else. Do you reply or do you just stay silent? I reply on positive comments. Ah. For negative comments, I am not a negative person. Mm -hmm. I'm not of negative energy. Like so I'm, I'm born of positivity. Mm -hmm. And that's the positive vibe I bring when I, I do my skits, when I create my content. It's all about positivity. Mm -hmm. So for a negative energy, it only gives me another stepping stone. Mm -hmm. But I do not re reply because I'm wasting my energy on, on somebody that I do not know with <sighs> someone behind the screen. Yeah. I don't know who needs to hear this, but imagine si lazima fight na kila mtu. Exactly. Eh, hey, just relax. Mm. Yeah, they might want to fight you. You just chill, okay? Just sit there and look pretty or just look handsome. Just mm. do something. If it's the wig and the beard, flip hey. it. Flip hey. <laughs> hey. Woo! Ebu flip beard to one ewa natupima. Uh-uh. <laughs> Uconnect. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag social Friday. Okay, tell me about you now as a person away from social media, away from the things that you show. What do you do? What do you like to do for fun? Uh, first of all, I'm professionally trained human resource manager. Plot twist. This is not what we discussed. Yes, uh -huh. I'm actually professionally trained. Ah! Yes, I have a degree in human resource management. Uh -huh. uh, apart from that, I was employed for a certain number of years. Then I moved out of employment to pursue passion. Uh -huh. And that uh, passion is basically cooking. So, uh -huh. 
So I'm a professional, uh, not professionally trained, but self-made chef, and that is what I do on a daily basis. That is even more impressive. Yes. Do you put these things on social media, like your recipes, cooking? Yes, whatever? I do. On I do. Instagram, TikTok? Um, on all my social media platforms. Ones on Instagram. Okay, now that we are here, guys, 20 Simu, it's that time, it's that time to support your people. It's only 75%. Ndio i, ndio i 75, nani? Eh, okay, what is your, your name on social media? Obai Patrick. Obai Patrick, Obai. Ah, there are not many people like you. Okay, Obai Patrick, follow. Okay, follow. Also, you follow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So, I'm a chef uh, on a daily basis. In Kiamka Subu, I have eight to five yeah. kitchen. Kupika, kusavu watu, kuinterak na customers. Yeah, That's what I do on a daily yeah, basis. Yeah, movie like a... If I didn't love my job so much, I'd be jealous of yours. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad I love mine. Hey, okay. So when do you get time? You have an eight to five. You have responsibilities as, as a person. When do you get time to do all these TikTok? Uh, TikTok basically is something that I love doing. Or rather, creating content is something I love doing. And I will create. It doesn't take much of the, You know, some people ask me, where do you get extra hours to do? Yeah! But it takes only, if you're used to it and uh, you have the content in your head, it's very easy to put it out there. In 30 minutes, you are done. That is shooting and even editing and posting it. Allah. You forget about it. Because when I come from work, mm. I have thought about the content. I just come in home. The first thing is do change into my dera, funga kitamba mm. yangu, ama wear the wig. Baby, let your <laughs> then shoot and uh, edit it. Mm -hmm. It takes less than 45 minutes for me to do that. So I don't find it time consuming and I don't find... And again, it's fun. Mm. It's fun and I like making people feel part of me and I also have to put content every other time mm. because it's the path I've chosen. Mm. Yeah, and uh, the, one that I, the ones that I do in the car, anywhere I shoot. Niki park na ni one kitu funny na nifikiria kitu funny, then I'll just park and Immediate. immediately do it and then I'll edit by die. Mm. Mm. So it's like literally when the urge strikes you must do it. Yes, yes. Eh, okay. At times I leave the kitchen to go and shoot. Na ikiungua wewe rasta. Na ikiungua nazima then. Oh, <laughs> hey, safety first. Yes. We are on a food, we are best friends. Mm. Mm. All right, so you have an 8 to 5. Okay, what I'm getting from your story is the initial stages were, were not easy when you were doing balance. It's, it's, it? it's never easy. It's never easy. But so even now it's not? It's not. It's not even now because at times it's so demanding because people, I have created that that I have to put out a video every other day. Expectations. Yes, people are expecting a video every other day because after one day, people are saying, Hiya, Mama Kotha Lenda, Hiya, uh -huh. Mama Kotha Lenda. So I have to put out content every day and you have to think of the content. So everywhere I go, be it in a supermarket, be it in a market, I look out for things that I can, mm. I can uh, create content about. Mm. So I have uh, to be upbeat in terms of my job, in terms of content creation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's never that easy, and it will never get easy. It's just how you learn to mm. cope with it. And it helps you have a bubbly personality or sanguine, aren't you? You have to deal with what you have to do. PR, PR, kizungu, kizungu. Uskatai, just agree. It's okay. It's okay to be talented like this. Yeah. Yes, yes. I have a way with people mm -hmm. in terms of my personality, not just being, um, not just because I'm professionally trained in that field, mm -hmm. but from way back when I was younger, I have a way with people because I'm a people's person. I love people and people, I, I tend to mm. interact so easily with people. Mm. Astana seeing people like in a duan in devil kwanza and the kwamu nangalia. Kabla to fikia personality. In a beauty at Jafikia to nangalia kwanza dark and handsome. Allah. Eh, but sorry. Nkula to komajo. My last question, because this, this kind of bothers me. Eh, let me explain it with personal something so mm -hmm. you don't feel a bit attacked. Eh? Yeah. Nikiwa Instagram, I, I, they allowed me to disable to, uh, nini, me seeing how many likes you have. Let's say we're following each other. Okay. So I've disabled, says you on a uki post, eh, what to like, Mr. Ona Niwangapi. I'll just see like two people and others. Mm. Eh, and in turn, I also did the same. For me, I did it because 
ili kwenda nipatie pressure yenye sikuwa naelewa like nenda kwa page yako unapata okay umeangusha ka kitu maybe menifresha but when you menifresha hai match na hizo likes uko nazo so mm. me it's giving me pressure hadi am even going out to your page na si hata ni mimi ati like zangu ni za mwingine can you imagine this kind of pressure nimekaa tu nafaa ku enjoy and living a soft girl a soft life instead i'm looking at his likes and then naenda napata kuna followers ngapi sana nipige hesabu ama huyu ame buy I've wasted five minutes of my life, so I've removed all those things. Yeah. Do you have pressure for how many people are liking your things? Because you know you now you have an actual audience who are waiting for you. Uh, not really. I, I don't think that's, that can put pressure on me. Because when I'm creating content, um, you create content to, for fun. If you take it again too seriously, that you have to reach the... It's not... It's not are you expecting payment for it mm -hmm. it's something you're doing for fun it's just a recreational thing mm -hmm. so for me it doesn't put that much pressure i'm actually surprised at times when i shoot something when i have not put in my head and then it goes viral and i'm like what I okay put effort here, eh? yeah at times you just shoot for the sake of shooting because it's it's an interesting thing it takes like five seconds but it's something that goes viral and the one that you have taken most of your time to think about <laughs> and create about, it doesn't go viral. So if you let it get to you, mm. then it will stress you out. Ah. For me, uh, once I post, rarely do I look at how many people have liked. Hey. Usually I want to, I want to, re to try and comment on, ev to, re to respond to every Message. positive comment that ah. is on. Mm. So if it's an emoji, I could check her, mm. I will respond. Come on, I'll just mm. respond. Then if I don't respond immediately, I will definitely have to create time for it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Hey, thank God for small mercies. That's that's. So you must tell yourself, hey, I eat you are, by the way. Yes, yes. I eat you are. I eat you are. It's never that serious. Hey, it's the day. In, mm. in, in, in the fun. Do your likes. Mm. Yeah. Please, don't don't be doing anything foolish because of something some, someone else has given you pressure on social media. Cindy or Nani? But in the meantime, with that said, we are now about to welcome back one Masai Kta. That is his name, Kta. Eh, not Katie. Yonia Kinaraji is no Eh, Hashtag Social Friday. We're going to play a game. You don't want to miss this. <laughs> 